Today is one of the days. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. And uh, I haven't slept at 4 o'clock. I had several calls. My phone keeping. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just happy. It, it, it's still happening now. It, it hasn't happened yet. But I guess I just hope it happens soon. I'm on my way to the gym now. Uh, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> just keep it locked. Keep it locked, okay? We're going to see something wonderful today. Trust me. What's your name? Deposit has been made. An amount of 8,000 RMB was paid cash down before they could commence anything at all. But I had to go through with the paperwork. Every single document was to be signed, including my passport, my visa page, and every single thing. The reason for the deposit is that sometimes they think you might not have such an amount as a foreigner, or they think you might leave the place 
if anything comes up. The deposit money. As soon as you are done with the signings, deductions commence because they start taking care of her. How amazing. I understand a little bit of Chinese, but I do not know what I'm signing. But fortunately for me, the doctor could speak a little bit of English. She made me sign about 45 different documents. Back in Ghana, signature is the hallmark for acceptance. But in China, it's the Red Seal. I had to thumbprint print every single one of them after signing just to confirm my acceptance. I arrived at the place at exactly 8.45 a.m. It was almost 1.30, getting to 2 o'clock, and nobody was talking to me. Tensions were high. I began to get worried because in most foreign countries you'd have to even stand just right beside the woman even in Ghana where I come from at least one nurse will come outside to tell you something I stood there for hours and nobody was saying anything to me nurses moving in and moving out without a single word Okay, so guys, uh, we're still here. Okay, she can't show We're still here. So, uh, she just said something funny. She's saying that if I want to go inside, I have to pay 500. And if I go inside and she doesn't deliver in an hour time, I have to come back and pay another money. This is only happening in China, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. This is our China. Standing beside her means I would have to pay 500 yuan or else it's never possible. Not the money per se, but the fact that if she doesn't deliver in some hours time, you'd have to come outside and repay again. At exactly 3.15 p.m. on Monday, baby Zexus was born. I was not allowed to still see him. So I pleaded with the nurse to take this footage for me. Okay, guys. Um, so the news is the baby is in. The baby is in. I, I want you to guess. It's either <laughs> guess, guess, guess. Is it a boy or it's a girl? I can't just hide my feelings. I'm, I'm fucking happy. I haven't been this happy before in my life. I haven't been this happy. Okay, so the first thing he's doing now, oh my god, did I say it? <laughs> the first thing the baby is doing now is to ask his father to go and get milk. So I'm on my way to the nearest Walmart to get a baby milk. Yes. Oh my god, this is a feeling. These things happen. It happens for the first time and you are like. I'm just grateful, just grateful. It's been a long way. Uh, so we just bought two of the milk. I think one is 242 MMB. Yeah. That's it, we're still here. Actually, the place big one. Half where is it sir? <laughs> it's a half.
so that is all that happened two days at the hospital the joy the pain and above all the victory a very big thank you to the woman who made this possible i love you so much and words alone can express how i feel about you it's rather unfortunate you don't want to be on camera but i understand you documented moments for you to grow up and come and see Zexus or Henina Nabwati, his beautiful smile, now Gucci Amani, a dad. That's the way I feel. Thanks for watching.